and welcome back to Caravanning Max. Hello. And a particular welcome if you're one of our growing number of new viewers. Yeah, thank you. Or a warm welcome if you're one of the viewers who've been with us for a long time. Welcome all. If you watched our last vlog, you'll know that we presented the Maccas and we talked about items of equipment or purchases that we found really useful and enjoyable we during did. our caravanning this year. Now, today's vlog uh, features an item of equipment that, whilst it didn't make that final um, uh, sort of list as a winner in the Maccas, yeah. has been nevertheless a really useful item during our trips this year. Yeah. And we're going to show you a bit about that. So let's take you outside and we'll show you what we're talking about. Here we are outside the caravan and as you can see I've attached the draft skirt from our awning as that's the subject of today's vlog. As you can also see, like many draft skirts, there's nothing to keep it tight and secure at either end. As a result it tends to droop down here quite badly, right across the wheel arch where there's no channel to support it. That not only looks untidy, but it also stops the draft skirt doing its job of helping to keep the awning cosy and draft free. Also you'll see I haven't attached any wheel arch cover to keep the draft from blowing through the large gap around the wheel. The reason for that is that the wheel arch on this caravan is partially below the fridge vents. So there's no easy way to connect a wheel arch cover to the side of the van without obstructing the fridge vent and that's simply not a safe thing to do. But even if the fridge vents in your caravan aren't close to the wheel arch, fitting a wheel arch cover usually involves poppers of some sort or suckers of, of some type and that's all a bit of a faff and quite often those don't actually work very well. So we'd like to show you what we use to solve those two problems of not only having a snug covering to the wheel arch but also a nice tidy finish to the awning skirt giving us a cosy awning. What we use is this, it's called the Draft Stopper. It's made by a company called Jade Designs and I'll put their website onto the screen and I'll try and get a link into the video description. It's made uh, for single and double axle caravans and will fit virtually any caravan that has a spoked wheel. It's made from tough polypropylene with a durable hinge at the centre. It's light, it's strong, uh, it folds down very neatly when you're not using it and to help that there's a velcro strip here that will hold it securely closed when it's in storage. To fit the, the draft stopper, we use this tough Velcro strip. And what happens is that the Velcro strip is fed through one of the slots in the draft stopper. It goes around a spoke of the caravan wheel, back through the draft stopper, and then pull tight and it will pull the draft stopper snugly against the wheel arch of your caravan, keeping out the breeze. But also, the draft stopper comes with an additional benefit. It comes with this extra infill awning channel strip, and also this clever clip. So that when the clip, the awning channel, and the draft stopper are combined, you get a nice tidy snug wheel arch cover and a tidy fit to your awning skirt, just giving a, a much more effective and snug feel to your awning when you're using it. And in a moment we'll take you back outside and we'll show you all of these in action together. So with the draft stopper roughly in place, I just slip the velcro strap through the first slot, round the wheel spoke and back out through the second slot in the draft stopper and tighten up, securing the draft stopper snugly in place to give a quick and effective protection against the breeze blowing into your awning. Then when you've got the draft stopper in place, it's just a matter of slotting the securing clip into place on the velcro strap as shown here. Also shown 
is the securing clip in place on the Velcro strap of the draft stopper with the additional awning channel infill strip fastened into it. The draft skirt can now be fed through the channel infill piece across the wheel arch and into the awning channel on the other side. The infill piece can then be clipped into position on the draft stopper. We've found it a good solution that gives us an effective wheel arch cover and a tidy draft skirt in our awning. The draft stopper can be ordered online and it comes with a good set of illustrated instructions. That's the draft stopper from Jade Designs, a strong, light and easy to use addition for your awning. So that's it, the draft stopper from Jade Designs. Yeah. We hope you find the, the vlog useful and interesting and it may be something that you might think about getting for yourself. We've okay. certainly found it very useful during this last year. Yeah, we have. The draft stopper. But before we close totally today, uh, I'd like to say a word about today's vlog because today's vlog isn't actually the one we had scheduled. Um, we've had to bring this one forward uh, because at this point we should have been scheduled to be a, away on a trip in the caravan. Mm. But um, before that trip we got some sad news that uh, uh, the husband of a good friend of ours had passed away and we've had to miss the trip in order to attend the funeral. Yeah. Now that's very sad but th th it brings me to a, a point of, 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 of no little irritation in, yeah. in connection with the booking. Yeah. We, we made the booking and, and paid the deposit, that's fine. Um, no, no, no difficulty with that. But when we got news of the funeral, which was more than a couple of weeks before the booking was due to take yes, place, most. we contacted the site and asked if we could move the booking um, because of having to attend the funeral. Yeah. Um, and the site was due to close at the end of November. So we asked if we could move the booking to a date early next year. Mm -hmm. And we were told that they couldn't, couldn't do that. So we then offered to pay the entire amount and move the booking to next year and if the booking next year was costing a little bit more we were happy to pay extra but we were also told they that they do couldn't that do either. that. Now that's a little bit irritating. It may be in the terms and conditions but it's yeah. just we think it's not a, a good way yeah. to do business. And it was an affiliated site too uh, wasn't it? It's a it? club affiliated site yeah. so, so that's not particularly good. Um, it may be in the terms and conditions that they, that's what they do but that's not to say the terms and conditions are right particularly in those circumstances no. and it's a shame because there are losers everybody loses here to some extent and it's a case of who loses most. Now the site's kept our £20. We've lost Neither £20. Here Neither here nor there. But what the site perhaps doesn't realise, what else it's missed out on? It's missed out on the rest of the fee, which is in excess of £100. Mm. It's missed out on another booking, and it may well be that we won't go to that site in the future. And it's missed out on what might possibly be a very positive uh, review of the site published on YouTube. So although we've lost out, the site, I think, has lost out itself. Yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, maybe, I say, maybe in the terms and conditions um, that they, they, they couldn't move the booking yeah. and, and so on. But it's not a good way to do business, and I really do think they could do better. Yeah. But however, it, it, that's that's our experience. If you've had a similar experience or you'd like to comment on, on how we feel about that, please do let us know. But I just think it's something that could be managed better, particularly in the circumstances. Yeah. However, getting back to the vlog, we'd like to thank you again for watching. Yep. We hope you enjoyed the vlog. We hope you'll continue watching what, what we publish on YouTube and maybe take a look at the, uh, the, the things that we published in the past because yeah. there may well be something there that you uh, hadn't realised was there and that you might enjoy watching. Um, Thanks to all our viewers and to our subscribers. Yeah. We've had a bit of a, a, a bit of a well, boost this, yeah, this last been, month or so. It's been great. We've gone up by more than fifty percent this last yeah, month or so. It's been brilliant. It's really excellent. So thanks very much. Many thanks to everybody who's joined us and who's uh, who's been viewing. Uh, it's getting quite t exciting, and we're really <laughs> delighted at the amount of support that we're getting as a result. So yeah, thank you to everybody great. who's joined us recently. Yeah. Um, any comments or questions you've got about today's vlog, as usual, do yeah. send them to us um, or either on YouTube in the usual way yeah. or we're on Facebook, on Twitter, or you can, uh, an email, Instagram as well. Yeah. You can contact us in all of those ways. Yeah. Details of all of that are yeah. at the end of the vlog. We do love to get your questions and comments yeah. and we will respond to every single we one do. that we receive. So yeah. we're looking forward to, to hearing from you. And don't forget thumbs up and like. If you liked the video don't forget to, to give us a thumbs up and a like. That's really important. And you people watching subscribe please. 
<laughs> if you are subscribed, subscribed and you want to know when the next vlog is available, just ding in that, that notifications bell, bell yeah. icon and YouTube should let you know. They, they, they certainly let me know whenever the, the vlogs I want to see are coming up. So give that a ding and, and you'll see what yeah. we'll do next. So thanks again for, for being with us. Uh, it's, a, it's a joy to have so many people watching and, and subscribing these days, so please do continue with that. So until next time, we're going to say yeah. what we usually say. Please stay healthy. If you're travelling, do travel safely. And above all, keep calm and caravan on. It's cheerio from the max. Bye. Bye.